good day. Ma'am. Hello. Just a moment, please. Jesus! Oh, hello again. Christ, you got the money to pay all that off? Where'd you get all this money? Actually, no, I don't want to know. So long. Hey, you interested in some quick money? I am talking real quick. Yeah, now, it's too open here, but, um, follow me and we'll chat. All right, so here's what I have in mind. <laughs> How do you find these damn You can just tell with some folks. Come on, let's see what he has and dump him somewhere. Partner. Hello, sirs. Hello. Nice to see some friendly faces around here. Howdy. Hello, sir. Hey, fellas. Hello, Mills. Hey, partner. Hello. Yeah. What's going on? Should have moved. I ain't gonna sit here and take this. Look out! Did that? 
Because barbarity is boring, you know? It kept me amused some years. You must go, my friend, before the Jean de Marie arrive. Hey, are you gonna do right by this feller's wife? You have done right by her. The little bird is free. Hmm. I am an artist, cowboy. I must do what I feel. Look, I have an exhibit at the gallery. You come, see what I mean. One moment, please. Hey. This is extremely delicate. There. Oh, wonderful. Algernon Wasp, purveyor of the exotic and the exquisite. Enchanté. Uh, Tacitus Kilgore. How can I help you? May I interest you in a uh, hat, perhaps? Yeah. How about a nymph? I import them from Brussels. The idiots in this town all want Italian nymphs, but the Italians make the coarsest of marble. I mean, quite frankly, the Baroque is an abomination. Belgium. Now that is a land for the connoisseur. Oh, yes. Yeah, as I always say. But, you know, I'm not really a nymph kind of man. No, oh, of course, too ephemeral. You want something, uh, more tangible, more gothic. I also make corsets. Would you like a corset? I always wear one. Uh, no, I don't think so. Yeah, I ride a lot of horses. Um, the whalebone might stick in. Mm, well, a cup of tea. Uh, sure. And what is it you do, Mr. Kilgore? Are you a gentleman of leisure? An aesthete? <gasps> an artist. Uh, I suppose I'm <clears throat> kind of an adventurer. Ha! Huh. Yes, of course you are. Here, be careful with the china. Sir, it is French. Not Belgian? No, no, no. They are Philistines in that area not to be trusted. Youth, eternally preserved in marble is more their specialty. I fear China will always elude them. Now, why are you here exactly? 
I don't know. You're an adventurer, a wanderer, a lost soul cast out from heaven? <sighs> sure. Well, I do pay exceptionally well for certain objects needed for my art. Mm, you do? I do. Exceptionally well. Well, what do you need? Let's see. Right now, I have a couple of commissions. I need at least 15 egret plumes. Good ones, obviously. I also need 15 assorted orchids. Here's a list. Okay. I will see what I can do. Thanks for the tea. Thank you, Tacitus. It'll be very worth your while. What? <laughs> Listen, bit of a weird question, but do you know where I might find some moonshine? What? Moonshine. You know, strong liquor. Over strong. Wow, you want to get over drunk? <laughs> no, no, it's not for drinking. <laughs> what is it for? Oh, I just need some. Well, as luck would have it, you are in the legal hooch capital of America. There's plenty of real booze here. But for shine, well... I'm guessing you'd need to go out into the woods. I mean, I know you'd have to go out into the woods. Now listen, I don't need that much. How much? About a hundred gallons. Oh, shine? Yes, thereabouts. Why? Oh, all right, I'm trying. I'm building a machine. A machine of love. <laughs> hundred gallons of hooch and love's gonna come pretty cheap. Please, friend. I'll pay. Just, just, just bring it here. Support good cause. Well, if anyone knows who's moving that kind of shine, it'll be that stagecoach guy in Rhodes. That's... Come on now, giddy up. What's your problem with me? You're okay, Move Move boy. It.
you and Fellers. Good day. Manos y yes. Here on, I mister. am, covering for their delays. You're gone. I can get you to get cheap. Where can I take you? Rose, please. That's just a hop, skip, and a jump. Let's go. Sir, good morning. Gentlemen. Morning, partner. Good morning to you. Glad you dropped in. I've got that, uh, information you asked for. Hello. Do you want this now, then, or no? Best I give it to you now, while there's no line. Um, need something more specific this time. 
A wagon full of moonshine. Well, you might just be in luck. I knew I picked the right better to speak to. I heard one of them damn bracelets has been bothering the nanny guns again. If you get my meaning. Don't surprise me in the least. Well, there it is. Alden, hey, you know anything about these runaways off the chain gang? Oh, hello. I heard both sides of that story. They're either horrible murderers or they were just defending themselves. Take your pick, which, as to where they are, no idea, sir. Well, I guess you don't know everything. <laughs> so long. Bye for now. Morning, dear. You don't need any more trouble from me, please. How do you do, sir? And how are things with you, dear? I cannot complain. You know, them's bad men. Sure. Real unpleasant. Back so soon? Ah, hello. Sorry, Ed. I don't have anything for you right now, but I'm working on it. Come back and see me later. Hey, move it! Ah, hello. No! Sorry, Ed. I do beg your pardon. I don't have anything for you right now, but I'm working on it. Come ah. back and see me later. Good morning to you, sir. You can do better than that. Hello. Surely we had already had our visitor. Come on, boy.
Morning. Hello there. Ah, hello. Sorry, I, I don't have anything for you right now, but I'm working on it. Ah, something else? Come back and see me later? All right, here.